myself Santosh and currently I'm working as manager in Microsoft, taking training for KSR for the last five years. Well, welcome to KSR Data Vision YouTube channel. In this video, we'll see what are the major changes that has happened with respect to Power BI. Just the name says how Power BI was there in the past and how it has changed in the recent time and with the introduction of Microsoft Fabric. All in all, this short video should help you to understand in a very layman term what is this fabric now we all know that power bi is one of the excellent bi tool in the market we have seen this from right from 2015 almost eight years uh initial two years maybe it was in the beginning stage but for the last six years power bi is ruling the bi world now just because power bi can do everything for you is it the right way to overload it and that's what most of the clients are doing it now. They're using Power BI for all the purpose. You want to do a data cleaning? Yes, Power BI. You want to do visualization? Yes, Power BI. If you want to have a data sets? Yes, Power BI. Data modeling? Yes, Power BI. Well, if a tool is best, that doesn't mean that you have to overload it. In most of the applications in Power BI, most of the reports in Power BI, this is a main problem. Just because it is capable of handling the tough situation doesn't mean that you always put that into a tough situation. And this is what is happening. Power BI, again, it has four components. Basically, Power View for visualization, Power Query Editor for data cleaning, right? And Power BI Service for publishing the reports to the end users. So all these are components of Power BI. Now let's see how can we reduce the burden of Power BI and we can still build a effective report. In order to do that, the first thing which we can opt is rather than doing the transformations within your Power Query Editor, why don't you prefer the cloud based Azure component, one of the service which is called Azure Data Factory. Now by using this Azure Data Factory, whatever was possible using Power Query, we can still do it in Azure Data Factory. Now, don't you think that we are reducing the burden of Power Query here? Well, yes, that is what we wanted. Now, even when you're talking about data modeling, maybe in Power BI, we have something called Power Pivot, which is responsible for your data modeling in terms of mappings. Well, there is no shocker. You can still do it within your data flows that is available within your Azure Data Factory. Now, Power BI, all we know is it doesn't store data. It just gets the data from multiple systems. It stores in a buffer and then we can use it for reporting. That's why it has a limitation. Now, why can't we replace your on premises data with a cloud based data? So in order to have your on premises SQL server, the maintenance cost is high. You need to pay for services and there is n number of things that you need to do. Well, this is a third thing which I am going to do. Why can't we reduce the burden of Power BI rather than getting the data from your on premises? Let's get it from the Azure SQL database. Well, replacing Power Query with Azure Data Factory, replacing your Power Pivot with Data Flow, replacing your on premises SQL Server with a cloud based SQL Server. Well, there are n number of things which I can do in order to reduce the burden. And the reason why we need to do is currently most of the reports which was implemented in the past, in the early 2017, 2018, 2019, whatever reports we have built. Now the data is keep on increasing and Power BI's are like struggling to maintain this scalability of the data. The current problem that Power BI is facing is though it's one of the best BI tool, but everyone has some threshold. It can hold up to only certain burden and that is nothing but your Power BI's existing challenges you have is whenever your data is keep on increasing in the on premises, Obviously, you need to maintain it. Your maintenance cost becomes heavier, right? And it requires a greater capital. That is a greater investment if you want to build one complete database system. And currently, Power BI supports data source from different data sources. You, get, you can almost get the data from 99 plus data sources, but that we don't have control. Whatever data we have, we are directly going and doing a reporting. There is a chance of data loss. Right, and whenever you're doing the transformations, whether you're writing it in M language or you're doing some of the calculations, it is a quite limited because the more and more calculations you do, Power BI gets burdened. Now for all this, 
do we have a solution? Do we have a solution? 65 to 70 percent of all the Power BI reports are facing performance hit. Whether it's respect to transformations, cleaning or reports, you are getting challenges in most of the projects which we are working. We are working only on the optimization of report. Well, in order to overcome all this, now Microsoft has launched something called Fabric. Now, what is this Microsoft Fabric? This was newly launched within the system on May 23rd. The system, the Microsoft has come up with a new update which is called Fabric. Well, at just a one line definition, this is like a one stop shop. Rather than depending on multiple services outside your Power BI, now why can't we bring everything into one place? That is, why don't we bring into one lake? And that is what your fabric is going to do. So fabric is going to be all in one, right? If you want to use it as a, a data storage, yes, we do have. If you want to build a data warehousing, yes, we do have. If you want to use Azure Data Factory for the transformation, well, even that you have in order to give more context about fabric. Well, initially Power BI was only one reporting, but now we do have multiple supporting tools. Now, what is this fabric? Now, fabric is actually a component where I would say collection of components where we do have Azure Data Factory. We can also come up with data engineering pipelines and we can also build machine learning algorithms. Well, all in all, I can say that your Power BI is going to be just one component of this fabric. If you want to build a data analytics report, yes, possible. If you want to build some data engineering pipelines, yes, even that is possible. If you want to go and have models, yeah, that is also possible. By using all this, now we are going to bring one stop solution or I can say all in one. Now what exactly we can do with this is in fabric today as of today as since then I was recording this video. We do have six components in that Power BI is one within fabric. We assume that as a one stop shop where you have every component for transformations don't worry we have azure data factory initially what was there maybe instead of power query editor i was about to use data factory but it was outside your power bi it was within your azure services now those tools have been brought inside brought inside one space and that is what this microsoft fabric we do have data factory for the transformations and we do have data engineering where you can go even write Python scripts, PySpark specs. You can also have a notebooks for heavy lifting transformations. What exactly the data engineers used to do that also we do have as part of fabric now. And if you want to have a complete data warehousing system where you want to build your fact tables, dimension tables, star schema, snowflake schema. Well, there is no shocker. You can still do it with respect to fabric and all in all, the end result is always trying to predict the future and that is why your data science models are there. You can even go and build your data science models. Well, more than that, it also supports some real time analytics. Maybe your share market data. If you want to analyze every second, every minute you get the data. Well, that is also possible and all in all Power BI is still there, but it is having a lot of new components. Well, Power BI is not changed. The environment around Power BI has changed. Please keep this in mind. Power BI is still there. We can still do the visualization. We can still do all the things what we were able to do, but the supporting environment rather than depending on multiple environments outside your Power BI. Now everything is brought inside this one lake. And that is what is Microsoft Fabric. Well, you can see a lot of changes that comes in future. Today it is just six components. Tomorrow it can even become eight components or 10, ten components. And just I want to say one thing. Thanks to Microsoft for bringing everything into one place. It's going to make our developer work very, very smooth. Well, thank you so much. Please subscribe our channel. We will meet again in next few videos about Fabric. Thank you.